And welcome, my fellow scout troopers, to Napoleon Total War 3 3v3 battle replay today from yours truly. I am commanding Russia here before us. My allies today are the Tolkenbov Hussar and Dada L is commanding Austria, so Tolkenbov is commanding Prussia. Our opponents today are Denny S, uh, Andrew Wrong, and La Armea Julius Caesar IV. And points today, there aren't really points, this is a battle to the death, so. We're focused on killing each other, not so much the points. Now, when this battle first began, um, I proposed heading towards the building over here. It's called like a Mount Mehias, this building here. And I wanted to set up here, but that else said, no, no, head towards, um, head towards the crooks in the center there. And I'm just trying to hold this area here and we'll try to establish a line from the crooks all the way to Mehias. So that's our battle plan so far. We're up against an all-French alliance here today. One of the players is playing as like an 1811 core. So it's going to get interesting. That L seemed to be a little bit um, concerned about that. I was worried that that unit would be OP. So maybe you guys can talk a little bit about the core units and maybe elaborate on Data L's concerns if you'd like. It'd be good to hear from you about that. I'd like to hear the difference what the core offers compared to most Imperial factions. That we usually see in these battles. Now, I have four units of cab myself and two units of artillery, so I am taking Pingu's advice there. I am trying to test out other armies where I bring more artillery than I'm used to, like two units or so, and um, I bring about you know, three to five k of cav. So I got one heavy cab unit and three light tier cab units. I bought the lights mostly because of their speed, but um, mainly because I want to use them to protect my artillery. I'll obviously bring the artillery, I want to have time to use it, but bringing foot artillery means obviously it takes a lot longer to get to the battle line, and it's very slow to pick up and move when and where I need it. It's much easier with ponies, of course, because you can lumber up and um, limber up, sorry, limber up, and then move to a different location exceedingly fast compared to just walking on foot. That else is something about Austria getting a bit too aggressive here and to not pull, not to charge in, but pull back. And looking at this French Cav, it does look mid to heavy. Yeah, these look like the Queen's Dragoons or that, yeah, the, Queen, the Queen's Dragoons unit. That's what, that's what it looks like anyway, so... If Austria doesn't have the Cav to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, he shouldn't be charging in because that's a losing fight. Now, the General here, moving up behind his cavalry forces. If France charged Austria right now, then Austria will probably be killed. But the good news is France doesn't know that. It doesn't know that um, there aren't any infantry forces in the area. He could be afraid that they're hidden. And if he charges forth, then bang, he'll, he's afraid all these units will suddenly appear and shoot him. So uh, I've got my cavalry sort of scouting the area ahead. I beat France to the to uh, the crooks. My army's not too far behind. It was pretty good that most of my units were able to walk down the road that speed up their their trip to get to where they needed to be or where I was told to go anyway. So you can see here France has a huge amount of cav just ready to go in. Fortunately for Austria here most of his army now has crossed the river. It's forming up behind the building here and it can protect his cavalry or support his cavalry in the event of a mass push here by the French. We've also got some skirmish units it would seem just standing in the streets. The cab is trying to get in, into the ranks here of these troops. Now it's sort of glitched here a little bit because um, this game does this unfortunately when you charge cavalry near buildings or through towns it does stutter. Not much can be done about that so if you're in a match and you're afraid it's about to crash or someone's lagging that isn't always the case. When you've got cavalry around buildings it will sometimes freeze on you so ideally don't do it because it will screw up the game a bit. And now that Austria's taken this building here, you can shoot at the cab hanging outside, so that's forcing them back a little bit. It gives Austria some breathing room, which is good. He can respond to threats a bit sooner, or have a few more seconds to respond before they charge into him. Now, I don't know what these guys are. Oh, okay, they're still cav. They kind of look like skirmishes from a distance. These guys are definitely skirmishes. I kind of half wondered if France was going to try and charge into me. My heavy cab is in position. 
My light cab obviously can't go toe to toe. My heavy cab is pretty good though. I've spent a bit of money on them. The Karasiri. These guys here are pretty good for the Russian faction, so I recommend you bring them if you can. Now, I was keen to move up my infantry. Like, I have a few, one or two units ahead well? of the rest, and I started forming them up just in case France charged into me. It was good to have some infantry nearby. Now, one thing that I was also concerned about is um, pretty much no, I didn't have any squareables in this army uh, today. It was too expensive to bring squareables. So I was relying a lot here on my cav to deter the enemy cav from charging into my army. And I was kind of make, trying to make sure they had my units prepared to shoot at any incoming cav. So I was to try and take out as many as I can and break them before they get into my lines and then break my own infantry. Because time and time again, we always see successful charges on lines and it just causes a cascading domino effect that causes a mass chain route that breaks apart your army. Then all, all of a sudden enemy troops sift through those cracks and then your entire army is gone before you know it. So that was a huge concern of mine. Prussia was charging in there to some unsuspecting artillery crews. That was a great charge there from Prussia. France didn't see it coming, or wasn't fast enough to react to it. Now, we've got France here wanting to get some payback here, and they will. They'll take out these skirmishes for sure. Unless these Austrians can form square, they can't, actually. It's like, run, Forrest, run! All this gunpowder kind of makes it look like a nice early morning fog, you know? It's almost peaceful. And then you hear the scream of death and you realise it's an illusion. So Prussia's advancing hard here against Austria. I see no reason to really move forward at this time. I mean, I, I can't really. Um, if, if they charge me with any sizable cavalry force, I reckon I'm gone. So I'm just trying to set up my artillery, I'm trying to set up my infantry, and just get ready for anything that France throws at me for now. I'm keeping an eye on the chat box at all times in case my allies call for support. So, you know, I'm where I'm, I'm where I was told to go, so... Right now, I'm just sort of in a support role. Trying to fire on the enemy with my artillery, get some kills, do some damage. And also keeping an eye on the battle here to the south. So he's moving up a 10-pounder here. At this range, cancer shot will be preferable. Last unit. There you go. Good shots. You see this infantry? Hang on, do we have a cab coming in? No, we don't. We have a cab moving up in the distance there, but they're not charging just yet. They're just getting closer. Okay, they're not going to come in. Seen a few Frenchies go down there. France probably was just waiting for Austria to make a mistake. We've got some stakes being sent up. So that's a quick fallback. Since none of the units here can form square, that is great forward thinking right there from Austria. If he gets charged, he can just simply run back. The stakes will intercept that calf and blunt most of that charge. It won't stop him completely, but it'll take out a few of them. Could break a few, could send some packing. It will just buy Austria some valuable time he needs to reorganize and potentially repel any mass cavalry push coming at him. That is uh, quite ingenious. I haven't really seen that done much until now. And it was probably obvious I didn't see him do that in the battle because I was too busy focusing on my side at the time. Nice artillery. Almost point blank. Potentially you hit three units simultaneously. Incoming.
Well, they blew up the hut. I never really liked them much that much anyway. France is coming into the town here. Yeah, it's a large responsibility here for a tiny unit against so many French. We've got some Austrians uh, guarding the building. It's decent positioning right there. This building has fallen. Prussia bringing up Deb Artie. We've got Austria here guarding both artillery pieces. They might be outmatched. The Chevalier goes here, need to obviously pull back, rejoin their troops. We've got to try and repel any cab from a position for from a position of strength. Sorry. Yeah, okay, moving up. Acting is a good deterrent. France is pulling back there. Yeah, unfortunately, the one weakness of this Russian artillery, while powerful, is it takes forever to reload. So, I was keeping an eye here on these French forces, and I was afraid they were trying to come around and, um, I don't know, try to outflank my line. I was afraid that the whole French force was sort of shifting my direction, and I'd have to pull back my troops soon, maybe pull back my artillery. Have to keep an eye out for enemy cab trying to charge my artillery. I mean, although nothing's happening on my side, I'm thinking 27 different things at once that could go wrong. And what I can try to do to counter my enemy's movements. And it looks like Austria's gonna go in. That was a great flanking charge. Kind of out of his depth there, charging into such a unit, but it was a good charge nonetheless. Looks like Austria's being caught out here. He needs the Prussian forces to move in. This building has fallen to the enemy. Okay, so the Austrians held here. France's morale is shaken. Farmhouse captured. Okay, so they recaptured the building. Looks like Prussia stepped in. Yeah, Prussian Grenadiers. Austrian artillery driving back the French forces. Yeah, it looked like France had Austria on the ropes there, but Austria held him off and Prussian reinforcements definitely were handy. Especially those Prussian grenadiers that recaptured the house. I had my artillery trying to target this position here. I think I was misled about the accuracy for my artillery, you know? I wasn't getting too many good hits with him. Huh? This was a 7 minute battle and so far we're 16 minutes into it. To the enemy. Jeez. I'll tell you what, this building was highly sought after. Now, our two generals are really close to it. They risk being killed. I'm not too sure where the Austrians are thinking about pushing up to. The enemy line is very far away. We've got France moving back in. I 
Looks like this unit here is targeting the French forces inside the farmhouse. These other three are going to try and push back the French reinforcements and maybe where they, when they're gone, this unit will go in. I thought he had grenadiers nearby though. So, well maybe that was Prussia. Austria kind of exposing his left flank there. Yeah, Austria's Austria's artillery is um, potentially will kill his own units. I think they're targeting the farmhouse. The Austrian artillery looks to be stuck. All the horses are dead. How can that artillery miss the building? Yeah, I think Prussia was telling Austria, get your troops out of the way. They're in front of my artillery. We're sort of starting to trip over each other here a little bit. French cab coming in. He doesn't see the stakes. He broke the unit. But most of his cab was killed by the stakes. And that saved his own artillery piece. Oh, but they still broke. Oh, that would suck. That's unfortunate there, Austria. But at least you saved Price's artillery. The cab was there too, probably would have broken the unit, but the stakes definitely played a hand in wiping out most of the strength of that cavalry and probably was responsible for them breaking so fast once they got into combat there. How's it going over here? Yeah, I saw some forces going through the woods here and going through the woods like this, it slows down any infantry unit. So I figured if I got my forces into position just outside the forest, lined up, then it would take them a lot longer to get into firing position to return fire towards me. So I saw an opportunity there to um, well, set up and fire into the ranks because they were slowed down by the forest and set by the forest itself. I don't think it slows down their ability to fire, but it does slow down their ability to walk and get set up. And you can see here, he's, he's scrambling. I think he's running his forces to try and get into position. And so am I. I'm ready to get my forces set up. He knows what I'm trying to do right now. And I got my heavy cab over here, just to deter the French. Prussia here sending over some support towards me, which is great. Thank you, mate. Yeah, he's charging, but obviously through the forest, that slows him down. And most of my units are ready to fire the setup. I got a nice volley off. I moved up my own cab. But it quickly got him out of there. So this is the first real engagement I've had so far. Obviously, I'll pull back soon. I can't ignore those units coming in. I'm going to be outflanked if I stay there. France starting to really focus more on our flanks, leaving the center relatively untouched for now. And that was a bit of a gamble. They charged into a unit that was close to a unit that already formed square. Prussian and Austrian cab pulling back, obviously, for now. They can't well, they go against that French infantry, and if they try to, they get their own stakes will prevent them from running away or risk losing their cab on those stakes. I thought about just charging into the infantry unit over here, but he forms square, much to 
my chagrin. And I ran these guys out of there as fast as I could, hoping they wouldn't break. But, valuable lesson. Now I know those two units there form square. Cost me some cav, but knowing that is still valuable information. And since I've got a sizable force here moving in on my left, I'm repositioning my 12 pandas to try and take on that art, take on this force over here. And I'm gonna move up these units in closer on the hill here once the artillery gets closer into position. So I want to set up around here, which is the top of the hill, so I can shoot down effectively and avoid hitting the ground when it fires into the enemy. I've got my six pounder still firing in, just trying to keep them at bay right now. Artillery also helps keep an enemy at bay. Keeps help, helps you helps deter any advance, at least for a little while. Sometimes you just need to play for time, and artillery can really help you play for time. So you know, Prussia organizing his forces as best they can with Austria. Trying to avoid tripping over themselves. You've got that problem again with Austrian forces in front of the Prussian Nadi. He can't fire in until he clears. Got a lot of cab over there just waiting to be sent in. Oh, we've got a mass cab engagement. I saw Prussia go in, I thought. Well, I better, I better support my ally, I reckon. And then both the Prussian units broke. And I sent in and thought, oh god, I'm, I'm already too close, I've already committed them, so... I just sent them in and uh, crossed my fingers and hoped for the best. Now, I was really happy to see that at least one of the French units broke. Morale here is not looking too good for my troops, but... Uh, second French cab unit broke. I thought, hey, these Kirasuri must be finally worth the money. They're holding their own against three cab units. We're up against Crassiers. Two units of Crassiers there. He, and they broke, a, they broke a unit of elite French cavalry. I couldn't believe my luck. And Prussia sent up more reinforcements. This unit broke before they came back. I thought the Crassios were still going to chase me, but so far that battle is finished now, and I just sort of keep my troops to the side. Moving up to re engage. I'm not too sure what happened here. My units just seemed to stop firing. They went attached to the artillery anymore. It looks like they were engaged, but the unit that charged into them must have broken or something, I don't know. Now they're walking through trees here, which makes them extra slow. I saw France coming in and I switched the canister shot. I was kind of hoping Prussia would uh, move up and fire into these other French forces if they move forward as well. Battle still raging on over there. It looks like Austria is gaining control on the right flank. He's not move around the town here, so that, yeah, Austria is definitely winning his fight. Anyway, I'm forming up my troops, getting ready for this massive line. I wasn't really too sure what I was seeing here or why the player was coming at me like this. And I thought, hey, it's a good opportunity to shoot and get some kills if he's going to charge into me like this. So you're seeing a lot of dead, dead Frenchies there. I was going to charge into this unit, but since this one was going for my artillery, I switched at the last second. 
That's why some of them deviated and charged into this unit here. Obviously moving troops in front of my artillery, I need to tell them to hold fire. Yeah, then, then the damn thing wouldn't fire. You know, you get into position, then it doesn't fire on you. I charge in some cav, obviously, try and keep these guys off my men. I didn't think they would win that fight, but just trying to keep them off my troops while they shoot. Here we go. Cancel shot. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That was two. Where's the third one? Yeah, France was coming at me. And to pull back what I had. Try to hold on. So I also try and consolidate. I didn't realize these guys were shooting at my cavalry. But um not falling very quickly, which is good. I got Prussian forces behind their ranks, which is very handy. See, they're still loading these bloody cannons. Prussia seems to be engaging his opponent. Nicely done. So I took out Andre's general there. So Austria's moving around. He's going to actually cut off France's retreat over here. Take him from the rear and uh, wipe him out. Austria's charging in their cav. They're back to back, so France is doing what he can. He could kill himself on his own stakes here if he's not careful. He's going to try and charge across the entire line. He got off a great charge. Prussian cab also, you know, doing his best to help me out. Once again, the guys, all they seem to do is just load the cannons. Well, they got off one volley there. I'm charging my calves to try and head them off. Most of their unit you know, is covering myself, so you know that's pretty good. I 
Things are still not done yet. Just trying to hold out right now. My allies are coming. Someone's charging, it really feels like someone's gone. Yeah, this this cavalry's coming from my artillery. Our men are running, sir. Come on guys, fire. Very good. I didn't even think they got off a shot at the time. This one, this one never fires at all. All, he, all this guy does is reload. It's like he's stuck in it. My general's still alive. I send up what's left of my cav over there. I think I charged. Yeah, I charged right. I charged in my um, heavy cav into the French line. I broke one unit there. I also charged in infantry unit to try and break up the line too. Just try and cause as much trouble as I can. Uh, I was very happy with that cab unit. France tried to come after my general pressure, of course, intervened. Austria sending over their cab now, their reinforcements the to fatigue, try and save me. I think my cav, my cav over here is broken. My infantry is still fighting the. Oh no, my cav's still in the fight. Down to twenty-one, but still in the fight. Our men are running. And I, I, I set up. Yeah, so I sent three to fire, one to charge in. That cab, oh, that cab, French cab finally broke. Yeah, still got a couple of units alive. Austria and Prussia are almost here. Now he's going to get into melee combat. And now I've got French forces just, just running by as I attack them as they pass by. Looks like France is trying to wipe me out. I've annoyed him enough. The man of fatigue, sir, I must rest a Okay, my unit's about done. So I have one unit left. 
as well as one in the house, but for some reason I couldn't get them all out of the house. I don't really understand why. But as you can see, some stay in the house and half the unit is with me over here. Now, Andre says that he won this fight and, you know, technically he did. But I'm still in this fight, I said. You see Precious Lines being set up. So I'm just kind of tailing him. I'm not too sure what I was thinking at the time I had these troops so close to them. Okay, it looks like I'm thinking charging in. So I thought, one down, keep going. Now, I think it's fair to say that it's all me doing this. I think Precious Presence here has something to do with the shaky morale of these units. And I got my general here as well. He's down to seven. I didn't realize that my unit was so heavily depleted. Uh, it says they're running or doing something, I don't know. But we caused the mass chain route. The entire line is uh, broken. But remember, you can't just let these guys go. you got to kill them. These guys are killing some of my own troops here. So that's being done. So we're on top of those troops here. Make sure they don't come back. Probably fast forward, I reckon, to the end here. This French, this French is being sent over to engage. The man of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. It's just a slow shootout to the end. There you go, they're broken now. And that's victory there for us. So, I got 1,117 kills there. The Totten Poke Asar got 1,103. Data L, 1537. Denny S, 1,092. And Andre Wong, 484. And Julius Caesar IV, 1,171. Now, kill counts here. My artillery did okay, 84 and 82 apiece. My cavalry that I was proud of, 138. Ryzen here, 131. Uh, Musketeers, 107. And the rest range from 96 all the way down to zero. My general got 60 kills there, but that was because he killed a bunch of... Well, killed a massive amount of those troops there that broke at the very end, so... That's why his kill count is so high. And these Jaegers here, those are the ones that were in that house that weren't really used in the battle, so that's why they're zero. It's probably one of the best units I had and I didn't get a chance to use them. That's my own fault, really. But still, that was a great battle. Well done to my allies, especially Data L there. He was doing a good job of coordinating. If you guys want to see your own Total War replay features here on this channel, don't forget to check out those video links you'll find in the description below. Hope to hear from you guys soon. This is Mika from Scouts of Intent signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scout Troopers. See you all in the next Total War battle.